procedure part B, and procedure part B is going to be using a graduated cylinder to measure volume. Record the mass of the clean, dry, 25 milliliter graduated cylinder. I just happen to have mine right here. I've got my scale right here. Oh, the dot just came up again. Good. And uh, take a picture of the scale. So 12.00. That number is going to go right here, 12.00 grams. And uh, my camera's recording uh, the second screen here, so please take a picture of that part. Record the temperature of the water again. So I've got my water right here. I've got my temperature probe. I turn it on and then I go mode, mode, and swirl it a little bit. Seems to be pretty constant. This time it's 19.2 degrees. And I give it a little shake and dry it off with my napkin over here. Put the cap back on. Oop, turn it off too. Good. Measure out 20 milliliter of the room temperature distilled water. Use droplets from the pipette to get the volume of water as close to the 20.0 milliliter line as possible. Your eyes should be at the level of the liquid surface in the graduated cylinder and some meniscus um, pictures there. So uh, I'm going to do this a little farther away from my scale and my computer. I'm going to go pour it in. Oh, I wanted 20, didn't I? And I'm going to pour this into my waist. I know it's just water, but good technique says don't pour it back into the container, pour it into the waste. Uh, I'm a little high right now as far as my 20 milliliters measurement. So let's see. So let's move this over here. I got my waste beaker here, and I'm looking straight across. And I'm taking volume out until I get down to the bottom of that meniscus is right on that 20 line. Might have gone a little too low. Yep, the good. Water can go back there, that goes back there. I actually got a little bit of water on my scale. But uh, just on the display, which I still don't want. So. But at least it's not on my pan of my scale. All right, mass of grad cylinder plus water. 31.93 grams. And need a picture of that. So just like that, so water scale make sure i can see that the water is in it which you can see the little line right there good where were we take a picture record the mass empty out your graduate graduate cylinder and carefully carefully measure out another 20 milliliters don't reweigh it no need to reweigh the empty graduate cylinder because it's not empty anymore it still has a tiny bit of uh, water in it that's why these say leave blank leave blank etc etc there so, pour my water in again. One thing you may, should know about me is that I have no depth perception. So this is too much. All right, I'm gonna get down and get down to my 20. Getting closer. Got my 20 now. Had one drop cling into the side there. That hopefully will put me perfectly at 20. Wait for the dot. Put 
31.97, and these are grams, yep. And then, no need to take a picture of that one. And then do it again. Three times is the minimum number you need for a standard deviation. And that's what we're going for, is a standard deviation. See, it really has to be set down on a level surface. I was going to try and do it while it was holding it up in the air, but that doesn't make any sense to do. Sneak it back on there before it... And that's this one done. Pour that into the waste. Now, um, this time, it's going to be a little different than the last time in table one. In table two, you're, since we emptied it each time, we're gonna do our subtractions each time back to the original one. So, moving my scale and focusing on calculations, 31.93 minus 12.00, I get 19.93 grams. 31.97 minus 12, 19.97, and 19.90 grams, that's a nine there. Density is the same way. So again, we went back to this number because we emptied it. In the one above, we didn't empty it. So here it was this one minus this one. And sometimes we empty and sometimes we don't. Now density is the same. I'm gonna show you one here. So this is gonna be 19.93 grams over 20.0 milliliters. We got this 20.00 because each of the markings on our graduated cylinder is in the one milliliter. We go to one more decimal place to the tenths place when we write down the volumes. And 19.93 divided by 20.0 is 0 0.9965. Grams per milliliter and uh, so we have three sig figs in the uh, denominator. We have four sig figs up top. That means our answer needs to be recorded to three sig figs. You can put a six underneath of, or sorry, a line underneath the six, or you can actually round it to three sig figs. I will accept either of those answers, uh, and I will allow you to do the other two density calculations.